Hello there guys. I've been going around in bloody circles trying to find somewhere I haven't been yet. So I've sacked off a couple of videos because they're an utter waste of time. But I've just walked into here. So there are places I've not been in here. So we have a little bit of progress, which is nice. So I'm going to be making my way uh, into the darkness to see what we can find. Hello dudes. Dying for me, thank you very much. How oh, very respectful. I'm gonna pop up a couple of these as I make my way through. Man, it was so frustrating. I tell you, I have spent a long, long time going completely the wrong way. Almost full health. Why did I just die? What happened then? Jesus. Well, where am I? Right, okay. We'll do that again, shall we? Right, I've got this thing here now on 17. So, pretty damn good. So, not far away from having double health regen. So, those things now that are up on my D pad. And now really quite effective, whereas before they were always a bit shit. Let's get rid of this. Thing. Come on. Hmm? Oh, I need to do some melee damage now to get that health back up that they've just stolen from me, these bleeders. And you, come on. Oh, it's not that effective, is it? Hang on, have I got the right equipment on? Have I got my lead chamber on? Yes, I have. That was rough. Why, why I'm doing so shit. Just, uh, pop some bullets in there. And we'll pop these dudes. Go into the shadows and make some progress. Oh shit. <laughs> right, which way are we supposed to be going? Okay, we kill down here and then go around towards the left. Alright, let's get this dude in the face. Damaged it. Better off getting him in the belly. <laughs> oh, they make a good noise when they die. Oh, shit, didn't dodge quick enough. But we're alright. We are alright. Right then, we are about to go into a shadow. Lovely jubbly, we've not been here before. Should we have a look down there? See if there's anything exciting? No, we won't. We'll just continue in, in this direction. A door, an actual door that leads to something. Oh, there's the trader. Right, that's the trader I was going on about, where you you get the thing off the back of their, um, their cart. If I can get to him through here, can I? That's a bloody dead end. Oh, look, look, we can see in there what's in there. Right, so yeah, that's the trader I need to get to. Itchy eyes. Is there way around? I've got to go all the way around the bottom to get there. Or all the way around the top. I'm going to go this way. But at least we've got some progress now. We've found the trader and that means it's going to open up that guardian place that we were in. That's good news. 
Which I can't actually remember where that was. <laughs> no, I really, honestly can't remember where that was. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna progress anyway. Sorry to uh, surprise you like this. Oh, thank God I'm now not making. <laughs> thank God I'm now actually making progress because I have been ran in circles like you won't believe. I've backtracked so much. I recorded it all and then I thought this is an absolute waste of time, so I sacked it all off and started again on this one. But I ended up back at that bridge with that boss, uh, where the uh, that flower type thing that appears on both sides. I ended up back there. Which I, I tried to do, and uh, really couldn't, so I sacked it off again. Oh, oops. Where are you? Where are you? Come on in, you little dudes. Let's have some health off you. Don't keep throwing things at me. Just come close and try and do melee damage. That's what we want. We want more of this. Still come out a bit shitty, didn't I? Some interesting stuff coming up, haven't they? Let's have a look what we got up here then. expected the bit to be a chest around this corner. I was looking at it on the minimap thinking that's a little dead end there and I expected there to be a chest in it. <laughs> hey, trait point. Lovely jubbly. Two more to go for double how free gen. see what's going on. And you? I'll tell you what's going on. I've got half the health that I had a minute ago. Let's pop one of these hearts and let my little dudes kill some stuff for me. Out of it. Right. Ooh, I can hear somebody. Oh, we found another uh, zone. Right, I've got to get through to that uh, that trader. I wonder if I go through and do this, I will appear on the bit where that trader is and get through that way. That might work. Right, before I go in. So where did I come in? I can't remember. Right, I know for you guys it was only like one video ago, video ago, but for me it was ages ago because I've been going around in bloody circles. So I don't know whether I'll come in like, uh, obviously on the left, whether it was the north or the south. I assume it was the south by that crystal. So maybe that top left corner is where I said, ah, this is, uh, I need the trader to do this. So that's where I'm going to be heading after I've got to the trader, which I think once I've come through this zone, will possibly bring me out there, but we'll have a look. Oh man, this game sends you around in circles so bloody much. That labyrinth is a nightmare. But we are now somewhere new, so that's a good thing. I'm on about video number 30 on now. This is, this is dragging. Right, where are we? What, what are we on? We are in the Halls of Judgment. All right, let's go and get judged. Hello. Right, this looks familiar. I think I've been in here before on the uh, on the other zone. Pop up a couple of these. A chest there. Yes, it is. Oh, I'll go and have that while my little uh, my little dudes do some killing for me. 
You go kill things while I collect loot. Thank you very much. You're not doing a very good job of killing, are you? <laughs> yeah, 100% off in here before. Why it took cookies in here, actually, these, uh, these fellas? Oh, he popped his head around at the wrong moment, didn't he? Oh, hang on, there's another one here, isn't there? Didn't realise there was a door on this side. We'll have a look through here. Oh, there is a chest. I was going to say, I was expecting there to be a chest up there. There is. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely been in here on my adventures. How do I get round to the next bit? I've been in here, but I can't remember it. Here we go, here we go. Some, someone's making an angry noise. <laughs> uh, there's somebody. You gonna come over here and play? Come on, dude. I'll buy one of these after you if you don't come over to me. You have two of them. Quite quick these guys are. We got a boss. So you just stand there and soak up these bullets in your face. What an idiot. This one won't bloody go over there because there's no one close enough to aggro him. And they're so quick. Where did he go? Stand still. Still didn't get him. Ow! He gets me all right. Got that one. You go and get him then. <laughs> Stay still and eat bullets. Oh, there's quite a few of them here actually. I'm going to back off a little bit. Send my dudes in to do the work. These guys are fast. Come on, pop you over around the corner. Good lad. Any more? Reloading, do they? They're crossbows. They just shoot off three at a go. Three at a time. Stuck in the wall. Yeah, it is. Oh, lucky mate. That was rough. Right. 
You're not going to get him through there. Go around. You can fly. Just go over the top. I'm not going to go back that way. Oh, good lads. So is this the one back there then? Well, obviously there is. Can I reach that? Over there, we got purple. Let's go get that. Let's see what it is before we pick it up. The storm amulet. Okay, we got that already. Short work of him. I'm gonna pop over here because there's a chest. I know I'm walking past stuff that I could pick up. I, I just want to get to the uh, the next zone. Right here we are then. I think. This is the place where you pick up the armor set, the Ikari armor set. Uh, I think that's kind of like a bit of a raid on this zone and you have to survive the raid and then this door opens and uh, you pick up an armor set for that. If that's where I am, then that's not all that useful to me, but it could make me progress to the next zone uh, on, uh, on, this little, uh, on this little bit. Who knows? So this is the Ring of Trials. No, I don't, I don't recognise anything called the Ring of Trials. So let's get in there and see what happens. The Ring of Trials. What we got? What do we have? I'm going to stick with my current build. Until we know what we're up against. Alright, we're up against him. Hello, mate. Do you want to make friends at all? Right, he's got a bell on his back, which is going to... That thing there is absolutely going to entice other things over. Can I, can I attack that? I if I can attack his back. Like, perhaps shooting it's not a good idea. That makes it ring. Pretty sure that uh, the ring, uh, the bell ringing, just brings in other enemies. Oh, I, I am actually dying here. I've uh, actually given myself a bit of uh, health. Didn't get a chance to use it that time. He's one 
of these regen things. Guardian thing up there. I wonder if that would, um, if that comes alive or anything and joins in the fight. I'm guessing not. Come on, reload, reload, reload! At least I'm using melee. Oh, he's put quite a few of those battles down now. Where is he? Okay, we've got problems. There's loads of other enemies appearing because he's putting down too many of these barrel things. I need to, uh, I need to kill him already. I'm surprised I can't kill the bowels. Normally, when there's something like that, you can kill the actual bowel. Okay, I'll, I'll actually go and shoot them all then, being as I, I can shoot them. Fuck, <laughs> Matt Bullets. Didn't expect that. Alright, let's get rid of his bowels, and that'll stop all these little cronies coming in to help him. Shitty shit shit. Oh, I'm in a dead end. Get out of the dead end! Quick, quick, get out! Use a heart. Got it. Beautiful. Pop one of these guys for a sec, just to give yourself some breathing room. Hey, I can go up here. This is a new place. Where are you guys? Melee damage for a little bit. Well, that's the boss there, isn't it? Melee damage in. Guys, get him, guys, he's nearly dead. Go and get him. There we go, he's dead. Right, we had King Caller's Bow. It's over. Lovely jubbly. Do we get a trait? Unfortunately not. Right, King Caller's Bow. Inventory. Materials. It is going to make a weapon mod. Brilliant. Right, a weapon mod is much better than a weapon because it's already on max. So we've made some progress, we've got something new. Let's go to the exit. And on the, once we've gone to the exit, we'll then pop back to Ward 13 and we will use our new mod. See what it is. I wonder if this will bring me out by the trader. I think it probably will. King Caller's Bow. Right, what it does for him is it makes loads of, uh, you know, people appear that help in the fight, doesn't it? So it'd be pretty cool if it does that for me. I stick one of them down and it calls in a load of people to help me. That could be quite useful in some boss areas where I'm struggling. 
Can't see much in this zone. Right, so I am exactly where I said I wanted to be. I'm right next to the uh, the trader. So I'll go to the trader's cart first of all and get that key to make sure I've got it. Well, I'll touch this first of all. Right, there we go. Right. Let's get off that. We'll go, we'll go back there in a bit. See, on the back of this thing here, this is what we were looking for. That there. So now we've got that. That will unlock the place where we, um, we couldn't progress. So this dude has a very expensive ring. Pixeltech. I did not realize. What brings it so far from home? I'm looking for a man named Ford. A man? Other Pixeltech? Ugh, I cannot help it. But perhaps I can offer something else. I acquire things, Pixeltech. Anything it needs, no matter how rare or dangerous. <laughs> Provided it does not ask the origins. I also deal in information. Should that interest it more? <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at your wares. See, this sells this. I've never seen this anywhere, how, anywhere else, but it gives me a health regen for 60 minutes. That's pretty bloody good, really. But in a bit, this person dies, and then you cannot buy this stuff again. So I'm tempted to buy a whole stack of these golden plums, uh, because they might help me in places where I'm really, really struggling. So we'll see if they have anything else. I don't think they do, because I bought everything else that they had already. They did have that ring that does 20% uh, melee damage uh, protects you uh, from, from melee damage. And um, a bit like the mother's ring for range damaged, but it was really expensive. It was 200,000, so I obviously didn't buy it, but then they get killed and you just pick it off their corpse. But these things, you don't see these anywhere else at all in the game. So I'm gonna buy a few of these, and then I'm gonna use them in places where I'm really fucking struggling, if I need them. King Caller's Bell. Look, I could sell this for 250. It Sold that. Tell me if it finds anything of value, yes? I'm not going to bother asking for, uh, you know, like, like information because it's, it never bloody means anything. The information is always just a load of shite as far as I've found out. It's never done me any good at all. So we're going to obviously open this door. <laughs> right, now we've got the door open. We are going to... It does open, doesn't it? Yeah, good. Uh, we are going to map back and see what our weapon mod is, like the King Caller's Bal. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to use that Guardian thing now. And uh, that will obviously mean a little bit more progress. But it does mean that that, uh, that merchant is going to die. But now that we've spoken to them, they are a point that we can teleport to, uh, which is pretty handy. Oh man, I'm so, so glad that I've started to make progress again. I really was going around in circles. And the only place I seemed to be able to go to uh, that was, uh, that was you know, a place where I had not progressed through was that bridge. And uh, that is a bloody nightmare. I'm really struggling on that bridge. But let's see what this mod is and see whether or not this mod is going to be something that helps me on that bridge. It might be. If it is, that's pretty handy. I imagine it's going to be stick down one of those bowels like, uh, like that boss did and stuff helps me. That's what I think it's gonna be. We'll go and have a look anyway. Also wanna have a look at the shop as well to see whether she's not, uh, she's got any um, Samulicrum crystals. I need to go to her, I'm don't I? Unlucky, so I need you to make something for me. Fine, let's have a look. The Song of Swords, right, projects a 20 meter aura that moves with the caster. All heroes standing in the aura will have their damage dealt increased by 15% last for 30 seconds. That is a pile of shit. Not interested in that at all. I'm obviously going to make it. Right, let's see how strong it is when it's on a maxed out gun. So, the uh, the pile of pants. There it is. 
Right, um, damage increased by 30%, lasts for 30 seconds. So that's obviously my damage increases by 30%. It travels with me, which is good. It's not just an area of effect. That's disappointing as fuck. I was expecting something much, much, much better than that. What a shame. We've got another trait. I do like getting traits. So we'll go and have a chat to the, uh, the shop before we go back, just to see if she's got anything worth buying. Hey, traveler. Hello. Not really. I'll take all of these. Later. 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 I ought to have bought some of them corrosion things off that dude as well, really, shouldn't I? But never mind. I'll go back to where I just was, at the, at the trader. And, uh... Yeah, last checkpoint. That'll be alright. Oh, I kind of wish that I'd not been into the other side of the game. I, there's a lot of stuff happening now that I've already seen, which is, uh, which is not so good. But we are, hopefully, tracking down Ford. Which seems to be what the game wants me to do. Right, so we're back at the stock trader. This is the door we opened. But, let's have a little look. So which one was it, guys? Was it... I think it's the... Um, the one that's at the top the top left. So that's the one I'm going to get head towards. I mean, that's the one that was the Guardian uh, thing. For God's sake, I was expecting there to be nothing here. Oops. Yeah, well done. Just eat bullets and die. You ate quite a lot of bullets, but you did die, which was... Very nice of you. I'm stuck. Ah. Ah. So we'll, we'll go to this one then, top left. It's making a lot of noise. Yeah. A couple of those to play with. those ones that sort of run to you and then explode. Oh, I'd love to go and pick that up. I'm more interested in going through here. So I think it's this one. I hope it's this one. It might be the other one. But with a little bit of luck, this is where I've got to use that guardian key thing. in the machine. I don't think there is. I might have to go and have a look though. It's not the right one, is it? I can see it's not straight away from the minimap. This is the widow's bloody pass. Right, so that's not the right one. I knew I'd go to the wrong one first time. Bollocks. So it's the one that's at the bottom left then. Have a quick look on the map as soon as we walk out. Right, I'm checking the coffee machine. I'm pretty sure it's empty, but if there's anything in it, I'm not letting it go cold. It's got to be the one on the bottom left, hasn't it? Absolutely got to be. So we'll just we'll just leg it to there. 
not going to bother uh, fanning about killing things unless they look very easy to kill. I walked into a sodding dead end. What an idiot. I need one of these so that I can get there a little bit quicker. Don't mind me, guys. Just passing through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop! Kill him, man. They, they take a little bit too long to kill. We'll pop. I'll put the peeps out just to kill anything that might try and chase me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Chest there that I've not opened yet. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. There it is, look. I, I don't think this is it. I really don't think this is it. I'm, I'm going there anyway. It might have just been in a different map. I'm, I'm in completely the wrong place. That drifter's armor would be quite good for just running through a place because it's um, it doesn't use so much stamina. It reduces your stamina so you can sprint for longer. But I haven't maxed that out. Uh, I've never used the armor, so all I do is, once I've upgraded everything else that I want to, I normally put a couple of points in there if I've got enough stuff left to do it. So it's not strong armor, but it would reduce my uh, the use of my stamina. For God's sake. Where is it? Where am I? Why am I so lost all the time? What's this place? The Shrine of the Immortals. Okay, this is where I met that little dude, isn't it? Well, I'll go and have a little chat with him now that I've read that diary and see if he has anything else to say. I don't think he will. I am wasting my time in here, aren't I? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, where is he? He, she, it. I think it's a she. Right. Hello. I, had a, I found Ford's diary and he's very fond of you. Can I not talk to you anymore? Is that it? Are we done? Oh no, there we go. Do you need Not sure. Who are you? This one is Navun. One. So this now one all I can ask is the same who are you question over and over again. No, what a load of Billy Bollocks that is. Ugh. Right, I'm going to go to this uh, this crystal. Hello chaps, how you doing? You alright? Lying down there, having a rest. Don't mind me. Hello. Whoops, wrong button. I think I need to go to the ruins. That's where I think I need to be. So let's try that then. Oh, flipping out. My only option is this. I'll go to here, and then from here I'll travel to the ruins. Man, this game is annoying. It just sends you around in circles so much. And I, I think mostly because I walk into a zone, and I think I've done this before, whereas I've done it in the adventure mode of the game. Uh, the game would probably be a lot more linear if I never went into that, that side of the game at all. But I, I feel like I'm going around in circles. I really do. So this time we are going to try and map to the ruins. That's where we're heading for. Uh, so travel. Right. So we need to be in... Uh, in here. I think we've got to go there. I think this will lead us to the guardian thing where I've got to use that key that I got from the Stuck, whatever it is. The King Caller's Bow, a shit weapon mod that really disappoints you because you expect it to do something that it doesn't. Didn't you just think that was going to be stick it in the ground and random things will pop up and help you on your fight? I did. <laughs> Uh, 
Right, what time is it? Almost 12 o'clock. Have I got any uh, achievements? Oh, I have, look, 22 recent achievements. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Oh, it was that goose game, that's why. Yeah. That's, that's where all my recent achievements have come from. And then, ah, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. So, it's the, it was the goose game. And then doing a couple of things in here as well. Right then, so I'm pretty sure this is the right place, and I think it's the one at the north. I'm pretty certain I'm in the right place now. I'm jumping over here. It was either this one or the one on the west. I'm pretty sure it's this one though. So this, we are about to see some progress, I believe. No promises. Tickliest nose in the world. <laughs> right, yeah, here we are. This is where we're meant to be. This is what I was trying to do for ages. We now have the ability to go through this door. Right, brilliant. Go on and pop the thing in. Can't remember what's through here though. It might have just been uh, picking up some armour or something. Yeah, it is. Right, but that dude that kept disappearing reappears in here, so I'll get these ready. I've already got... Uh, oh, look at that. To my knowledge. I like that. Jubbly. I've got this already, whatever it is. The Radiant Visage. Right. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get off. I don't think so, matey pants. He just disappears, but when I go outside um, to that uh, stuck merchant, the game will crash. Urgh! That's annoying. I'll, I'll just try popping to home first and then coming back into the game. Sometimes that works. I bet it won't, though. Ah, oh, it's gone bloody right back from the start. Right, um... When you when this dude disappears and then you go back to that stuck merchant, this dude is attacking the stuck merchant. Well, that's what happened on the other side of the game. And uh, he kills the stuck merchant and then you have to kill him. And when you kill him, uh, you um, you get, a, I can't remember, you get a mod or a weapon or something. I can't remember. I didn't touch that crystal on the way in here, did I? And that possibly means I'm going to have to come here again. I might be in Ward 13 when it loads up. Crashed a couple of times this has, hasn't it? Like whilst doing videos, ignore the noises of me adjusting the mic. There we go. Right. Let's get back in. I definitely think I'm going to be uh, back at Ward 13. At least it doesn't take too long to get back in. It's like uh, Forza Horizon 4 takes a bloody age to load. It really does, it takes ages. This game's not too bad, it's quite quick. Although I am looking forward very much to reduce loading times on the next Xbox. Although that's like a year away, isn't it? Because they keep talking about it, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll get one of those. And I'm thinking about it happening soon, but it's not. It's, an, it's a year away, it's next Christmas. Right, so we are going back to here, and from here we are going to pop north, head back into the Guardian Shrine, and, uh, and then we'll come out and we'll go to the Stuck Merchant. Uh, actually, what I've just done might still be done. I might not need to do this bit. I might be. Um, I might not need to go in here. 
But that Radiant Visage, that's the armour that's got the perk that gives you the boost to the critical hits. So I got that in Adventure Mode, I don't know, like two weeks ago. <laughs> right, so we need to be heading towards the north. And that is not north, this is north. Let's see if I've still got that thing. Yes, I have. So, yes, it, it did. I've got to use it again, so I do need to go in here. Ah, if I could be asked, I'd edit all these load screens out for you and crashes. But I can't be asked, so I'm not going to. But this time, I'm going to touch this. Right, here we go again. I haven't got my bloody uh, fire bullets ready this time. Look, they're not fully regenerated. But I'll pop off one of these, ready for when the, um, the thing comes. Shoot that. No. Okay, so he's already gone, and I'm pretty sure there's absolutely nothing near you can do. I expect you to be able to shoot all this stuff here, but obviously not. You bugger off. Go on, get out of it. Right, so, that's that done. Not much to do in here, really, is there? So now... If it's the same as the, the other side of the game, that um, the merchant that's stuck will be dead now. And that's how I got that ring off them. Uh, but then the boss dude that was inside there is then out with the merchant and you have to kill him. But it could be completely different. This side of the game might not do that. So, there's nothing else to do in here that I think. I think that's pretty much this all done. So, I'm going to go back to the stock merchant. And uh, there are a few things that we need to do in this area of the game. So, we're going to crack on with those. I think what I'll probably do is have a look at the Stuck Merchant. If there is a boss there to kill, I'll do that and then end this video. If there's not a boss there to kill, I will end this video and then progress into the dark zone that I haven't unlocked yet on the next video. But I'm, a few places where I'm going, I think, yeah, it is, look, because uh, this time he's dead. So yeah, something has killed him, and you pick this up, which is the Guardian's Ring, which I've already got. And uh, then you have to fight this dude. So it's exactly the same as what uh, happened in the uh, other side of the game. He's got good reach though when he tries to hit you with a melee attack, he really has. You, you have to jump out of the way quite a lot. Where is he? Oh yeah, 
Get out of the way, get out of the way. Use a heal. Shit. I haven't got the, uh, the thing on my foot select to be able to be uninfected. So we're just going to have to put up with it. Oh, the infected makes you cough, and when you're coughing, you can't do anything. That's bloody annoying. I'm going to have to try and uh, do the best I can. I'm going to have to keep dodging out of the way and uh, pop these out and hope these kill him. They're probably well. We have got five weeks back. Oh shit. I managed to get this thing on here. Be alright. Another one of these ready. I'm going to struggle here just because of the infection. It means I, I cough too often, and when I cough, I can't do anything. The last time I did that, I actually got like, um, I don't know whether it was a weapon mod or a trait or something, but I got something anyway. <laughs> right, we're going to have to get rid of our, uh... no, we haven't got to get rid of anything because we can just touch the crystal and that will heal us. So we've got this on full, brilliant. So now we have double health regen. So we're going to pick up anything that's knocking around. <laughs> touch this so that we stop coughing. That's the end of this one, guys. Uh, next time, we're going to be wandering into the darkness. So let's have a little look at the map before I shut down. Where can we go? So we've got the... Uh, where am I now? Right, I'm here, so I need to go south. So next video, we're going south. Hopefully, there's going to be a new zone down there that we're going to unlock. And we're going to find something new to do. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.